Welcome to Amiga Automat Synthesizer Tutorial Part 2. We can change the volume of a selected range by clicking on this space and entering a percentage. I'm going to change the volume of this noise to the 20% and then mix it into the sine wave. To raise the volume, we have to enter a percentage greater than 100. This vertical line and two arrows just set the pointer in the screen, the same we can do just clicking on the right mouse button. A pointer is like a range without length. Left arrow sets the pointer to the beginning of the waveform, right arrow sets the pointer in the end, and the vertical line sets the pointer in the middle of the waveform. This comes handy along the stretch function. By clicking on the space next to stretch, we can enter a number of bits which will be displaced and stretch the waveform relay to the pointed position. Entering negative values will stretch the waveform to the left side. Here's the volume and waveform lists. Two first columns just show the line number for the list. In decimal and hexadecimal values. We scroll through the list using the cursor keys. They can be up to 128 steps long. This column is the volume list. This hexadecimal 40 is the maximum volume. These arrows change the volume and waveform list speed. We can set a different speed for each list. End comment will always appear after the less comment on the list. To enter values and comments into the list, we have to enable edit by using the escape key or clicking on the edit button, just like we do to enter notes into a track. We can navigate the list with the mouse and the cursor keys and insert or delay positions using these INS and DEL buttons or the ones on our computer keyboard.
we could type just different values to get kind of volume envelope. The speed for the list work in reverse, the greater the number, the list would advance slower. That's because it refers to the pulse per step usually set to 6 in trackers. If volume speed is set to 6, steps on the list will less the same as steps on the pattern. But let's see how to get a good sounding envelope. Standing on an empty position of the list, we press the K, D, and the change down command appears into the list. Then we insert another line after the change down and enter a number. The greater the number, the faster the sound will fade out. I'm inserting another line and standing on the first character position, I press W key and the weight command appears. It must be followed by a number, the number of pulses we want the list to wait until it jumps to the next position. Now the sound will play at maximum volume for a line of the sequence, then will start fading out at the speed set under the change down command. All these values are related to the volume list speed set here. If we want to stop a fade before it reads silence, we can use the change down command again, followed by zero. This will stop the fade. With weight and change down commands, we can set a proper volume envelope. Until now, I've been working with just one waveform, the zero waveform. Let's add another waveform to the wave table. Clicking on Add Last, another waveform appears.
we navigate through the waveforms using these minus and plus buttons. Now set the length for this new waveform to 128. This is important in order to use it as an envelope for the volume. And now I will draw an envelope using the line setting. We could use any edit options because after all it's just another waveform. When we're happy with our envelope design, let's go back into the volume list. Standing on the first character of a line, press the E key and the envelope 1 command will appear. After the envelope command, we must type the number of the waveform to be used. For this example, is the waveform 1. The envelope waveform can be anywhere in the wavetable. We can go on drawing the envelope while we're hearing the results. In the volume list, pressing Shift and E key brings the envelope to command. It works just like the envelope 1 command, but it uses the whole waveform as a loop. Pressing the U key calls the change up command to raise the volume at the speed set after it. I've set an initial volume of 0, then change up at the speed of 3. In this other example, the list begins at a maximum volume, then changes down at the speed of B, keeps changing down for 5 pulses, and then the jump command that can be called just typing the J key makes the volume list start again from the zero position. This zero after the jump command sets the line to jump to.
In the instrument menu we find this hold and decay settings. We can type into hold the number of pulses that the instrument will keep playing by default. With hold set to zero, the sound will play until its end or until it finds the next note. With a hold of three, sound will less a half step of the pattern and 12 will make it less for two steps. Set it to six pulses for one step. Hold works exactly the same for sample sounds. But decay, in the case of samples, is used to set the fade out speed once the whole time is finished. But for synth sounds, the number we type in the decay sets the number of the line of the volume list into which will jump once the whole time is finished. We can use it in combination with this common hold that appears using the H key. Hold is similar to end, but we can put instructions after it. This way we can have comments in the volume list which will only execute once the whole time is finished, setting the instrument decay to the number of line that is after the hold command. Usually a change down. We can override this hold setting using intro in the track to get this extended hold. 